What's up my beautiful angels? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Maya. We are here week seven. I know this episode is Lexi's play, so I'm super excited. We're really not going to be doing that much long talking because I'm so ready. We literally have one more episode after this, which is really sad because I know Euphoria is not coming back for like probably like the next two ish years after this so these first two seasons are gonna have to hold me for a while but like if i'm being honest as you know basically we've seen like majority of season seven i mean we've seen like majority of season two and i heard obviously we all heard that season three is going to be a thing i'm not sure if they should continue it after that after season three just because some shows like they tend to like drag on the series and not really know when to end it that usually ends up being a thing so i hope this show and like sam decides like after season three like maybe it's time to you know because at this point we're just gonna end up tough if they keep going with the with this with the show previous episode was really really uh really interesting i also saw on tiktok or was it tiktok or twitter but basically the whole thing with the disc the cd apparently maddie it was supposed to give the disc to jules which honestly I saw some of you guys in the comments said that wouldn't really make sense, you know, and then talking about how Nate giving the disc to Jules is because, like, he loves her, but does Nate even know what love is? Let's be real. Does Nate even know what love is? I don't think he does. I mean, I still think that he just did it for, like, maybe it was, like, a selfless thing, but also there was, like, selfish reasons behind it just because that's also his dad in there and that has to do with his whole family. I feel like I would have liked it more if Maddie did give the disc to Jules just because we saw like they have this like growing friendship and maybe it was like episode three or something or episode two and I think that would have been a lot nicer for the episode to be honest but I mean they went with the violent route so that's what we got. Nate taking back the necklace and giving it to Cassie. Just a whole mess. His mom a mess. Rue she's doing better. She's she's doing better. And um, I just love Sober Rue. I really do. I really do. It just makes for an easier watch. No more long talking. We're just going to get straight into the episode. If you guys like these videos and want to support the channel and me, you guys can like this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. A full episode reaction, like always, will be on Patreon. I will leave the links in the description box for you guys, along with my socials and my Discord. Yes, on to episode 7. We're praying? I'm praying too. This is gonna be wild. We're ready. Yay! Showtime! Oh, this is pretty. Overture? Oh. I'm gonna go figure it out. Right, it was, yeah. Yeah. Aww. Poor Leslie. She hasn't opened the door. She's okay. Don't just stand here and gossip. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Wait. Oh. I thought this was. That was a little confusing right there. Let this darkness be a bell tower and you the bell. As you ring, what batters you becomes your strength. This is sweet. So that had me tripping for a sec. Like? Oh, yeah. See? is bitter damn turn yourself into wine lexi got a whole set for this but what hat what was this girl's budget this is a school play <laughs> jules actually looks really pretty this is really interesting the way they're doing this though i knew jade had been doing drugs but it wasn't until that day that i realized they were a greater comfort than i ever could be she got like identical people. Well, dang, Lexi's casting is. There was me, Grace, Ethan, my sister, Holly, her best friend, Marta, Marta's best friend, Luna. They're all like, what the fuck? Well, Rue actually looks really good. Wait, is this fing play about us? Yep. <laughs> yep let's keep it going oh my god she's probably gonna cover like every single thing still don't understand what the play is actually about 
for life. That's what it's about. I keep second guessing myself. I'm getting anxious. Like if people are gonna think that it's good or bad, it's gonna upset people. Most likely. You really stroking the bee's nest with that one. My intentions are good. I mean, I'm not hating on Lexi or anything, but like, what if they think my intentions aren't good when in reality they are good? I guess, yeah, like she just wants everybody to know what's up. I mean, she's just airing out everybody's business, and I guess it kind of needs to happen. Ugh, I look disgusting. Hey, Holly, I'm in the middle of something. Holly, I've got a foot. Yikes. I'm here for her getting at Cassie, though. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, wow, wow. Not Sue's. <laughs> I feel like a big baby. Oh, my God. Mom, that was the grossest thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sue's is loving it. She's loving it. Ew, Nate. F off. Yo, eyes, get the door, man. She still hasn't said anything. You're too broad. It's not funny. Crying? <laughs> the directorial note. You just take it and move on. Damn. Did someone die in this dress? Yeah. Like sh <laughs> <laughs> that dress does look pretty ugly. But, I mean, it looks pretty good so far to me. I love the theater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear a whole yes, yes, suit. Yes. I mean, you're late, but you know. Stepping out tonight. Aww. Gonna support his girl. Ooh. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, Yo, I'm, I'm actually a little busy. I'm, I'm getting ready to go out. We going to a party? It's none of your business. I'm worried now. All right. I'm gonna just chill then. No, go away. Faye, you have to say something. Come on now. I actually kind of like you. Like, please. Please don't let him miss Lexi's polite. Is he recording shit or is his like phone tapped or something? Don't screw this up. I like Bobby too. Bobby's funny. I could see myself now. No one ever could get. <laughs> <laughs> I love how supportive she's being. It's amazing. Okay, but we're taking in this whole setup though. Are we taking it in? Man, I really wish I'd phone Lexi Howard. Yeah, you and the rest of East Island. No, Lexi's put in everything into this play, and I love it. 433 days later. Well, maybe they're still growing. No, they're not. Well, sometimes it takes. No, they're fully formed. <laughs> Oh my god, these two. Like, her hair, everything is just screaming Maddie right now. Well, she certainly looks the part. Like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> At least be original. No, but she looks amazing this whole episode, or so far. She looks great. Oh, he's coming. He's coming, boo boo. Yeah, I'm gonna be sitting in the front row, sorry. A little exchange, and I fall in love. No, 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 no. No, because you guys are perfect. You think he's okay? I think he's just sleeping. Tragic. Oh my god. I think we should have mom come pick us up. Be rude. Did he really like drive them home? That's crazy. <laughs> hmm. Lexi. Aw, yes, ruin Lexi scenes, please. Change them, so it can be like, like different, cooler people. I don't think we need to be cooler. Oh, we should at least try not Aww. to. Aw, this is sweet. I'm gonna cry, okay? Because I love them as best friends. Before Jade got into heavy drugs and before I got inside my head. Yeah, they could have like really used each other, been there for each other. Well, this seems really happy. Everyone in this show just has it so hard, goddamn. Very short, no one else. How many characters is Ethan playing? The world 
No, Lexi's hitting the spot for everybody. Stop. Oh, my life will be in this is like well put together, too. Is he, is he dressing her right now? <laughs> oh, wow. You can never scare me. He scares me. You should be scared, too. That man is ill. What, what, custard, go away. Please say something. Are they coming now? Is that why he's here? I know all the bells are going off right now, Ash. Get this man out of here. I swear to God, if he misses Lexi's play, he's gonna f miss it, isn't he? Yeah, they're coming. He's he's nervous as sh Got her looking like that, that white guy with the afro. Bob Ross? <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, it's a fire. We gotta, it's we a gotta fire. Go. Come we on, come go. on. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are mean. Look at, oh my God, he looks so handsome. Oh my God. With the flowers, with the roses too. Ah, that's gotta be so awkward. It's funny how I used to think we were meant for each other. So. I mean, really, how are you supposed to go about talking to her? I, d what do you even start with? I give up. You want to kill yourself doing drugs? Go ahead. I'm not going to stand in your way. What? So I can do drugs. Yeah. You'll be 18 soon and out of my house. What? Is this like reverse psychology because I'm taking you off my plate? If I have to choose between losing one daughter or two, you I'm going to fight to save her. Wow. You guys said it in my comments, like it was because of the insurance why they couldn't get her back into rehab or something like that. I feel like her mom's just like over it now. I don't know how I would feel sitting in this audience right now and the play being about me and like everything in my life. Like, I don't know. What? Everyone feels stupid. Who cares? And then I just chose not to feel stupid. I love this makeup. It looks so good. Maddie's makeup. Well, and this too, but... 90% of life is confidence. And the thing about confidence is no one knows if it's real or not. She's got a point. You can see through my bed if you want. Yeah, that's That's your whole best friend. I know you're feeling hella guilty. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is what happened me. after. Open the door and tell me it was worth it. You owe me that. Open the f***ing door, Cassie. This isn't about Nate. This is about you and me and our friendship. And if you want to throw it away, then fine. All over a whatless boy. Just because I'm sick of it. He put me through hell and now he's with my f***ing best friend. Like, when is it going to end? Maddie, I feel you right now. I feel you. You're a f***ing coward. You're a f***ing coward and I would have never done this to you. I would have never done this to you. I feel you right now, Maddie. I feel you. I feel you. I can never do people the way they do me. No. No. You don't even look like you. I'm wearing Maddie's necklace and everything. I can't. I'm so angry. <laughs> Sydney's doing her thing this season, though. I'll give her that. Uh-oh. Nuh-uh. Wait. Did you know about that too? You have to control what I wear, what I eat. What? What you eat? Who I talk to. Oh, you're gone. You don't even have a mind of your own anymore. What? I belong to you. Not the thumb in the mouth. <gasps> Aren't you afraid people are gonna look down on you? At least I'm loved. That's all it's about, huh? That is all it's about. <sighs> oh, not the jacket. Whoa, Ethan's playing everybody. 
Oh. In that dress? What is this dance? What's wrong with this dress? What is up with this dress? That was it, right? I'm not tripping. Oh god. Oh. That is a night terror. What the hell? What? I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Just. <laughs> Hello? Then you're gonna burn it. Let's try that shit. I got you something. Something tells me you'll enjoy it. Don't tell me it's that dress or something. Ooh, that shirt. I want it. It's the dress. Because she saw you trying that shit on. Okay, this is it, people! It's showtime! Let's go! You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, I'm <laughs> oh my god. Mick, Mick, you, you're a blind three year old could do a better job than you. <laughs> Lexi is stressing, but okay. Whew. What is this next part? Time for me and the boys to work out. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so gay. Oh. What? This one has his leg up. What? He's in a situation right now. He wants to be there, Lex, okay? Please, Ash. You might just have to kill him. Sorry. You might just have to kill him. I think you look handsome with no tie. I like no time. But we gotta hurry up. Let's go. You think other people think that I look handsome? She will. Do. Come on, say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Oh my god. I'm just stressed, okay? I'm just stressed out. Right. What? Right. Well, like, please. My anxiety can't. Can't. Well, you're uh, you're leaving. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. Can we go quickly? Is everything like... good? Come on, tiger. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing while looking at him. Hey, oh. Colin, could you rub a smidgen of oil on my back? I can't reach my pecs. You're getting too freaking big. Oh my god! I love it. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Lexi did not hold back. She did not hold back. Oh, I know this song from Shrek. This is great. This is great. <laughs> And Ethan's doing his thing. Why do I love this? Oh my god, the red. He's pissed. He's so pissed. Wow, this is really well put together. Yeah, they're eating this up nathaniel oh they're doing that jesus oh my oh wow <laughs> oh wow even the like scar on his head oh my god lexi's a big g way to bait out your scene homeboy she's brilliant lexi's brilliant isn't she though that shit is so Homophobic. Hey, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Like, she's your sister. No, you are. I, I... the out of my house. Yes. I'm done. Ooh. Ooh. Lexi is a G, isn't she? Yes, she is. She aired that out. Oh, Jesus. To be continued. Hold up. What? 
Well, first of all, that was just amazing. Alexi did that. But to be continued, there's more of the play? Yes. Lexi's play. It was great. It was amazing, honestly. I really like the way it turned out because I feel like a lot of us thought like she was just going to be airing out everything, which she kind of sort of did, but it felt like it was mainly focused on like Cassie and then at the end with that whole thing about Nate. I think it was really good. I like that this play was like focusing on how Lexi viewed things like we had one scene where it kind of looked like it was from season one but it was from like Lexi's pers perspective and like what happened with their dad like when they would go out with their dad or whatever and like how she dealt with it because we only seen it from Cassie's point of view in season one so I like that and that we got to see how that affected her and then like her relationship with Rue and like how she knew when she started doing drugs and just how she dealt with everything at that time i really like seeing that but yeah lexi really did her thing with this play it was amazing i mean everybody in the show was just amazing they were such good actors i think everybody did great first of all we're gonna talk about ethan but we're not gonna get there yet fez basically like missing lexi's play well i guess it's gonna be continued it's not done yet but basically him missing the play because custard is there Fay, Fay. You had an opportunity. I know that she probably like feels like a type of way about the whole situation, of course. So I don't understand why she's not speaking up. Why would you want to be with a man who's a rat? I really, really hope she says something because please, if something happens to Fez or Ash, I'm I'm done. I'm done. What the fuck? Cassie is literally trying to be Maddie. I'm not gonna lie, like the only part where I really felt bad for Cassie in this episode was the whole situation with her and like Maddie's friendship because like that is just she literally ruined her whole friendship like that's her best friend and she sabotaged that just for Nate not even I'm not even gonna say for a guy just for Nate literally that is that is worse okay honestly yeah like that needed to be aired out like I know Lex was probably feeling a little bit guilty because Cassie walked out whatever it needed to happen it did Cassie has lost her marbles and you know what it had to happen Ethan he, Ethan did his thing okay first of all Ethan did his thing Austin Abrams did his thing okay I just wish that we got to see a little bit more of him like I saw in one of my comments some of one of you guys mentioned about him being on The Walking Dead and yes The Walking Dead being one of my favorite shows I remember him from The Walking Dead and yeah he was really great on The Walking Dead so I was excited to see more of him because I hated him in The Walking Dead so I was like okay I'm you know, let's see what he brings to the Euphoria world, you know what I mean? Especially season two. I really wish we got to see more of that, but I mean, it was nice to see this whole like Nate, Jake thing that he did. That was great. Whoever choreographed that, uh, that number, wow. And it was so good seeing Nate get so angry about it. Like, dude, you're just mad because you're gay. And everybody laughing too. Yeah, he's, he's, ooh. I wonder how the next episode is gonna go. He basically kicked Cassie out told her to pack her shit and get out how is she gonna handle that next episode is what i want to know i think that was basically all that was going on i mean it was a lot to process but overall this episode was great i loved it we were waiting for this and it did not disappoint so but i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like my videos and want to support the channel you guys can like this video leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel so we have one more episode after this well yeah one more episode left crazy before it is about to be done but yeah i will see you guys next week when we get into the finale episode but I will see you guys then.